my top 10 favorite looking spells in the entire game. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while now and I waited until it was closer to summer just because I wanted to have more time to do it to compile the full list of 10 spells I thought were the best looking uh, to me right now. Now I took into consideration how many times I've seen this just because I can't help it. If I've seen a spell so many times it starts to lose that wow factor for me and one of those spells that's not on this list is Glowbugs. I think Glowbugs is an awesome spell but since I have a Storm who uses Glowbugs quite a bit I couldn't really put it on this list because when I was comparing it to other spells that were older spells I just had to give it to those. So I still like Glowbugs but it's just not on this list because of that reason. There's plenty of other great looking spells in this game and I can't put them all on the list of top 10 so there you go just keep that in mind when you're watching this but here we go starting with number 10. I was actually confused the first time I saw Holy Mammoth because it has a snowman that appears right there and I think in my mind for like a second I'm like wait is this the right spell and then it gets destroyed by all the Holy Mammoths that are like kind of charging towards it so it's a funny spell with that aspect like they try to be comical with the snowman and it's obviously a much more powerful spell than snowman and then you get the the stone effect at the end and it has a cool sound effect the tusks of the Holy Mammoth or like a bright blue I think they updated it to make the tusks even more like a brighter shade of blue so overall really great spell whenever I see that I'm like super like in awe about this spell just because of how like big and magnificent it is with like the charging mammoth so cool spell on to number nine I had to put this one in here. Storm Owl is just an awesome spell overall. It's 10 pips and it does still have some use on my Storm. I use it quite a bit for bosses with just a ridiculous amount of health. And it is just, it looks really cool as well. It comes from the sky out of like a thunderstorm and it just like appears there. And it's super unique just looking at it like a Storm Owl. But it's more like Azteca themed because these spells were from Azteca, the 10 pip spells. I had to put some 10 pip spells in here just because these spells are great and I feel like I don't see them as much as I used to. Storm Owl you see a little bit, but I had to put this one in here because Storm Owl is just an awesome spell. So here we go at number 8. Speaking of 10 pip spells, we have another one, Spiny Sore. So I had the Storm, and now we have the Life 10 pip spell. Spiny Sore, out of the 10 pip spells, this one is one of my favorites. And just, it's an iconic life spell. It's not really used anymore, maybe for PvP, but still, 10 pips is a lot these days. So it's not as used as much as I would like it to be. But whenever I see it, it's still an awesome spell. So gotta give love to Spiny. On to number 7.
I gave the number seven spot to Mystic Colossus just because of the sound effect of this spell. It's like a bass cannon. Like, I don't know how they came up with this sound effect, but it's insane. It's like overpowering. The spell looks cool just because it's like a creaking, like huge colossus thing and like mechanical beast. And then it's like holding like the, the balls that you see in Chrysalis, which is the end goal. Like you kind of uh, restore those in Chrysalis once you finish the entire world. So it's one of those. You're summoning one of those. It like destroys a little boat next to a town. And <laughs> I don't know, it just completely decimates everything with like a great sound effect. So that's why I gave number seven to Mystic Colossus. Just really cool spell whenever I see it. On to number six. Dr. Vaughn is a great one. This spell, some people might think it takes a while, but all the effects that go into it, making it seem like you're inside Katzenstein's lab. I mean, Katzenstein literally appears there and helps to create this beast. And then you have like the lightning effects and not only that, but he hits and then he also heals back. So this spell just overall, like the amount of animations that go into it, you have to say like this one is a pretty nice looking spell. So. Dr. Vaughn had to be on here, and we give it the number six spot on this list. Let's see what number five is. Celestial Calendar is another spell that, one, it's 10 pips, so it's a lot, but it's also a spell that has a lot of animations and effects that go into it that make it awesome. The spiral worlds align in order to create this spell and to, like, to emit a beam onto your opponent that does a lot of damage. So nowadays there's spells that can do similar damage to what Celestial Calendar does, so it's not used as much. But whenever you see it, you're going to be like, yeah, this spell, I remember it back in Azteca. Really cool spell. On to number four. Raging Bull is just a great spell to me. I know some people probably would be like, okay, you know, I've seen Raging Bull so much that it's not as awesome looking anymore. It doesn't give me that wow factor. And that might happen to me eventually, but for now, whenever I see Raging Bull, I th still think it's really cool. Uh, once I get my fire and I have to use Raging Bull all the time, uh, once he gets high enough level to get that spell, then I might, you know, have to kind of push it back further on the list. But for now, Raging Bull is awesome. It summons like an effect, like a ring of fire around it. Raging Bull is just an awesome looking spell, and with it has a really cool looking pet too. So that's number four, already top three. Here we go. For the top three, number three, I gave it to Avenging Fossil. There's a lot of 10 pip spells in this list. And the reason for that is just because I don't see them as much anymore. And a lot of them have a kind of like nostalgic factor for me. We had some of the 10 pip spells earlier in the list, 
but one of the biggest nostalgic spells, 10 pip spells for me, is Avenging Fossil. Because Blue and I used to use this. We found a place for it in our walkthrough, and we would use it on bosses when we were doing our walkthrough way back in the day. And it took a long time to get to 10 pips. We would blade up a ton, and it would do a lot of damage to the boss, and then the overtime damage to the minions. And I think our battles took forever. We've definitely, you know, upgraded since then with using Cthulhu. And uh, now we also have, uh, you know, Deer Knight. I don't think even think we had Deer Knight back then. But Avenging Fossil was a staple with that. So I had to give it to it. It's a cool looking spell. It comes out of a tomb and it smacks him with its tail. So it's great. I think it's, it is better than Spiny just because of that nostalgic factor for me. So I love that spell. It's also a pet that looks great too. So on to number two. Number two, Headless Horseman. This is one of the newer spells in the game, but it's also, in my opinion, one of the best looking spells in the game because just of all the effects that go into it. They spent a lot of time in this because it basically creates its own like entire environment. And there's a few spells that do this, but this one just looks really great to me. And it kind of throws you into kind of like a dark more type of area. It picks up its pumpkin head with its ax that it has and there's some cool sound effects that go along with it so really halloween type of spell but it just looks great so that spell is awesome i wish i would see it more but it's only on one pet and i really hope that death at some point can craft this spell because who wouldn't want this it is it's just amazing so that is a great death spell i hope that we see more of it later on here we go guys are you ready for number one Storm Snake is iconic. Its tail is literally a lightning bolt. This spell is awesome. I can't believe. Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's roll the real number one. Iron Sultan takes the number one spot for me. This spell. When I first saw it, I just thought it was amazing. I, you guys can see my first reaction of this spell in my uh, that first video that I posted of me getting the storm spell on Test Realm for Mirage. And overall, it looks awesome. It's a anything kind of mechanical, like really, I, I have to love. It's like a mechanical uh, robot guy that laughs at his opponent before he like summons lightning into his hand and smacks the ground to just completely destroy your opponent. I, I don't know, I just love it. I love how he's summoned as well. Like he just like falls down from the sky like some kind of celestial being. And I, I just have to love it. So that spell is great and I have to give it my number one right now because whenever I see that spell, I'm just amazed by it. So that is why I gave that one number one. The storm spells for me really just, I, I, I have to like them. I have to like the storm spells, so. Uh, there's a lot of storm spells that I really like, and there's plenty of other new spells. I didn't put any of the other four pip uh, shadow spells on there, just because. I mean, some of them I do, I do like, but out of all of them, Iron Sultan would have to be my number one. Uh, some honorable mentions would be the Snake Charmer one. That one's really cool, as well as the Scorching Scimitar. That one is uh, also really nice. So, those are some of the honorable mentions on the uh, four pip shadow spells, but. Iron Sold and have to give it to that one just because I think it's a really cool spell. But that is going to do it. That is it for my top 10 favorite looking spells. There are plenty of other spells I could have put on this. I mean, there's a lot of spells in this game. I kind of feel like at some point I want to do a classic top 10 spells. Just like the spells up to maybe Dragon Spire. Just so you guys can see kind of my list of those. Because King's Isle has gotten a lot better at creating spells over time. Like you can tell from Frost Giant and Fire Dragon to what they have now with Iron Sultan and Snake Charmer. Like, they've definitely improved, but the classic spells are still nostalgic for me. And maybe at some point I'll do a top 10 classic spells. But that is going to do it for this video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a big like on your way out if you did. Subscribe for more videos, uh, more top 10s. We'll see more this summer, so that'll be exciting. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time.